Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashi Karin and welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be having a look at Notion, more specifically the pages I use on my Notion to help keep me organised. I do have quite a lot of pages on my Notion, so to make sure that the video wasn't too terribly long, some of the pages we'll go into a bit of depth with, while others we'll just kind of skim over. If by the end of this video there are any pages in particular you're really interested in, do make sure to leave any thoughts or questions in the comment section below, and I'll try and answer those as best I can. Starting at the start though, the first page that I have on my Notion is my life dashboard. The idea of this page and the design of this one was very much inspired by Michelle B. Much like a lot of the other pages I have, just given that I purchased her Notion pack. Most of those I have changed or adapted to better suit me, and the life dashboard is one of those. So as you can see, this one has three main sections. We have the goals and projects section here, my most used page list here, and then down the bottom we have my routine section. The routine space and the goals and projects space are actually their own pages, and obviously my most used pages are a list of separate pages as well. The next page I have is the goals and projects page, which is a database. For this one I have a couple of different views, including the current projects list, which is the one that I default to, a space for all of my projects, so everything that I kind of want to work on, a table view for all of those projects, just so that I can see all of the information for each of them, and then a space for any completed projects. The next page we have, and the one that I use the most often, is my to-do list. The default view that I have for this one is normally my this week list. So it just pulls up all of the tasks that I want to complete in the week I'm in. You can see there's a fair bit of information that I can record for each of my tasks, including a priority, whether I want to complete it this week, whether it's done, when I want to do it, when it is due, a context for the task, any collaborators that I need to consult with, the date the task was created, and then also a space for effort versus impact. Not all of these will be filled out for every single task. In fact, it's not very often that I do actually have all of them filled out for a task, but this is effectively my master task list. The other views that I have for this one are themed lists, so lists for things I need to get in the shopping, things I need to do at school or at home. I also have a Kanban board view for the context, so whether it's a personal task, a home task, a bullet journal task, or a shopping task. And I also have another Kanban board view for effort versus impact, though because this descriptor is new for me, I don't have a lot of tasks in any of those categories. The next page I have is my calendar. This is just a space where I can quickly record anything that I have going on in any given day. Typically I use this in the default calendar view, but I also have a table view for if I ever want to view it in a list. After this we have my weekly reset list. Because I've already got a video on this one, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. And similar to that, I also have the monthly and quarterly resets. I haven't actually made my quarterly reset list yet, but once I do, it will go here. The next page I have is for thoughts and musings. So really just for any thoughts or ideas that I have. This one has a space to record what that thought is, any tags, and the context for it. But as it's a list that I don't use very often, I don't really keep this one as up to date as I probably could. The next page I have is Life Notes, and this is another one that I haven't really used fully, so the entries in this one are actually just from Michelle B's template. After this we then have the page for those routines that you saw on my life dashboard. This is just a database that's viewed as a Kanban board, where the categories are each day of the week. After this we have my Jashi Karin section. So this is a place for organising all of my YouTube and Instagram posts. Of the three pages we have here, the YouTube one is very much the most used, and the default view that I have for this one is my posting schedule, which is just a calendar view that shows which videos are going up when. Some of the other views that I have for this one are my filming schedule, a list for all of my videos, a list for the videos that I'm currently working on, a Kanban board view for the progress that I've got on each of my videos, a list for any video ideas, and then a list of my completed videos. The page that I have for my Instagram posting is similar, but a lot less detailed. This one's a newer page that I haven't really used very much so far. 
probably helped by the fact that I'm really bad at posting on Instagram. The third page that I have in this one is a table of my affiliate links. Again, this is one that I only recently set up, so it doesn't have a lot in it at the moment, and it only has the one table view. After this, we have the section dedicated to my teacher planning. At the top of this front page, I have three templates, the first one of which is for my first weekly timetable, the second of which is for my second weekly timetable, and the third of which is for a topic plan. Typically on a Wednesday of each week, I just generate the template necessary and then fill in what my lessons are going to be for that week. Underneath those template buttons, I then have a space for each of my weekly plans, and then underneath this, a place for course plans. Each of my course plan pages just has a separate page for each topic, which is set up again as a database so that I can have a table of all of the things I need to do for each of my lessons. At the bottom of my teacher planner page, I then also have a space for any other teaching related pages. At the moment, there's just the one, which is all about revision videos. The next section I have is called personal pages. They're not actually all that personal, but they're just things that are related to me personally. I have individual pages related to movies that I want to watch, TV shows to watch, and my reading list. The first two are just simple tables with the name of what I want to watch and a box to tick off that it's been watched or not. But the reading list I haven't really played around with a lot, and it's still very much in the style by Michelle B. This is a database set up as a gallery view, and has a little card for each of the different books that were on that list. Not all of these books are actually ones that I want to read. As I said, they're mainly from Michelle B's template. So I do need to get in here at some point and make sure that the books I want to read are actually on this list. The next page I've got is a meal planner, and as you can see, it's not really getting used at the moment. This one has two main views though. It has the calendar view and the table view. You can see that the table view has a list of some of the meals that we enjoy eating, and it also has a column to list down any ingredients. Not that it's very populated right now. The next page is called Birthday Lists, and this is just a page to write out any ideas I might have for presents for people for their birthdays. I then have a page called Experiences to Create, which is just a database which is done as a table, and then another page for bullet journal collections that I want to make. This one's set up as a gallery view, just so that I can see the pictures of those different layout ideas. The section after this is all about wedding plans, and I'm not going to take you through this one. You can see I've got a couple of different pages within this though, so locations, guest list, photographers. Eventually I may also have a page for florists. At the bottom of this page I have a list of some of the decisions that Vogel and I have already made, but I'm not going to show them to you because... spoilers. <laughs> The next section is for checklists, and the ones that actually have page here are again from Michelle B's Notion Pack. At the bottom I also have a list of some other ideas for things that I would like to have checklists for. After this is a journal section, which I haven't really used very much. I do have one entry here called Thoughts, which was just some thoughts that I was having. And then the section that I have at the bottom is called Save Templates. And you can see the only one that I have here is the Life Map Notion Pack, which contains all of the different templates from Michelle B. Because I do very much enjoy playing around with Notion, something I've been thinking about doing is possibly releasing my own Notion Pack. Which brings me to my question of the day for you guys. If I did release a Notion Pack, what kind of pages would you like to see in it? I of course have some page ideas of my own, but I would love to hear your thoughts. As always, thank you for watching team. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. Until next time, bye.